In this interactive video, the contents and structure of the help menu will be explained. Click the help option from the menu toolbar. Before we focus on the HyperWorks desktop help, let's add a remark about what other applications are about. In the section, Other Applications, you will find information about our solvers radios, motion solve, and optistruct. You may also access the HyperWorks tutorials from within here. Alternatively, the HyperWorks tutorials may also be accessed through HyperWorks desktop. Note, information about panels and functionalities in HyperMesh, HyperView and HyperGraph are provided in the HyperWorks desktop help. Now click the HyperWorks desktop option. Notice the highlighted headline, HyperWorks Desktop User's Guide. Now let's take a look at the help book for HyperWorks Desktop. We previously discussed the model and the mask by config browsers in one of the other training videos. In the help menu you will find more information about the other browsers and the way they assist you in your working process. Please note that the browser technology is also available in other clients such as HyperView. HyperGraph 2D, and HyperGraph 3D. Let's have a look into the HyperMesh help book. Aside from very general information such as, what is HyperMesh? You will find information related to geometry handling and editing, meshing and so on. Let us also briefly review the contents of the book about geometry. As a beginner, it is especially important to become acquainted with the common terminology. As you will spend a substantial amount of time on meshing, it is also recommended to have a brief look into the book about mesh. At the beginning, especially the chapters dealing with surface meshing, volume meshing, and of course element quality will be very relevant for your work. Later on, you may use HyperMesh in combination with a third-party finite element solver. In the chapter entitled, HyperMesh Interfacing with External Products, you will find corresponding details. Note, there are no external or third-party solver manuals included in here. In the book about interfacing with external products, you will find answers to questions such as what kind of elements are supported by the HyperMesh interface. In other words, these books represent a kind of technical documentation. Available tutorials regarding HyperMesh and ANSYS or HyperMesh and Abacus are described later. Let us have a brief look into the ANSI Solver Interface book. As you will see, interfacing with external products requires at least a basic understanding of the external application. And now let's take a look at the HyperWorks tutorials. Notice that the headline has changed. We are now within the HyperWorks Tutorials books. As mentioned earlier, these books can also be accessed from the Help Applications window. Let's take a look at the HyperMesh Tutorial. In the HyperMesh Tutorial folder, you will find exercises dealing with the very basics, such as opening and saving files, exercises about geometry, meshing, mesh quality etc. The tutorials are written in a kind of click-and-go fashion. All these tutorials, and even more available in the academic blog, are definitely helpful. By the way, the academic blog can be accessed via www.alteruniversity.com. The tutorial folder, HyperMesh Solver Interfaces, includes exercises regarding all supported finite element solvers, such as Abacus, ANSYS, LSDINA, MARC and so on. As radios and optistruct are part of your installation and license, let's focus on the solver tutorial. There is a comprehensive list of radios tutorials available. Note, all the models referenced within the radios and optistruct tutorials are part of your installation.
the same is valid for the OptiStruct tutorials. Be assured, going through these tutorials will give you much more than a basic understanding. There are many optimization tutorials included, starting from topology optimization, topography, shape, and size optimization and so on. Next, we are going to use the help menu in different way. In this context a model was already loaded, even though it is not necessary to do so. Let us assume that the we want to remesh the imported model by using the 2D auto meshing pen. In order to learn more about the activated panel, just hit the H button on your keyboard. This will directly guide you the corresponding section in the help menu. So you do not have to browse through the help menu manually. This is very helpful, so you should keep it in mind.